We are following breaking news. I'm Janet Lomax. News to NBC has learned that Rochester developer Larry Glazer is on board what's called an unresponsive flight that is now over the Atlantic Ocean. Here's what we know. Glazer's plane took off at 8.45 this morning from Rochester. Its flight pattern was headed to Naples, Florida. Air traffic controllers lost contact with anyone on that plane while it was over the Atlantic at about 10 this morning. And we're learning right now that Jamaican military has deployed two aircraft to the area where it says the unresponsive plane is heading. This according to NBC News. News to NBC's Amanda Shivari is live at the airport. Amanda, how did you confirm who's on board this plane? Well, uh, well, Janet, an employee here at U.S. airports told me he saw Larry Glazer get on the plane. Now, we want to be very clear. This employee did not know if Glazer was a pilot on that plane or a passenger or if anyone else was on that plane. But that employee did say he saw Glazer get on the plane specifically today, this morning. Amanda, that plane taking off from Rochester this morning. It was headed to Naples, Florida. At one point, uh, F-15 fighter jets deployed uh, because there were reports of uh, someone unresponsive on that plane. Janet, that's right. And we just spoke with a flight expert a few moments ago who said that if a flight, if a plane gets to a certain altitude, oxygen is needed inside an aircraft. We do not know if that's the case here, but if there was some kind of malfunction in the plane or if the plane went too high without oxygen being pumped through that aircraft or an oxygen mass on the pilot, that could cause someone to pass out and become unresponsive to the ground controls. And Amanda, you stand by there. We've just gotten an update that uh, NBC News and officials are now reporting that this plane has apparently crashed uh, near Jamaica. And of course, we are, are following this story. We're going to go to NBC's, uh, in, News to NBC's Brett Davidson, who is at uh, Glazer's company that's Buckingham Properties. Uh, Brett, this information that I'm just learning is new, uh, but NBC News is reporting that this plane now uh, has apparently crashed near Jamaica. Uh, what is the situation there at Buckingham Properties? Are there people out and about, employees, etc.? Not really, Janet. We just did see a car pull into the driveway going quite fast. We're not quite sure who that individual was, but uh, certainly the news that uh, we're passing along now is, is not good news. Larry Glazer, certainly one of the movers and shakers, uh, one of the most influential people in this community. We are here, as you said, at the offices of Buckingham Properties on Alexander Street. And again, we've confirmed that that unresponsive plane belongs to real estate developer Larry Glazer through his company, Buckingham Properties. We did go inside and ask to speak with someone inside the office, but the receptionist told us no comment. They've since uh, rolled down their blinds. Now, the plane, as you said, left around 8.30 this morning en route to Naples, Florida. At around 10.45, the airport director here in Rochester was contacted by the United States Air Force and the TSA inquiring about that plane. Uh, it did fly... In, uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, over Cuban airspace, and as you're saying, Janet, it appears now to have crashed. Still no confirmation about who was piloting that plane, but we are told that Larry Glazer was indeed on the airplane. That plane is a Sakata TBM 700. And we do know that Glazer is on the board of directors of the TBM Pilots and Owners Association. Larry Glazer, who's 68 years old, is a major player, if not the major player in the city's real estate development game. He is uh, tackling the Midtown Tower project. He's uh, bought up a number of properties here on Alexander Street for redevelopment. He redeveloped Cascade Commons, and he is part of the partnership that is buying the Bao Shalom Tower downtown. Uh, involved in many properties, many real estate deals here in the Rochester area. We have reached out to the county executive's office as well as the mayor's office for comment today. Both are holding off on comment, commenting until more information is known. Again, we have learned that Larry Glazer was indeed on that plane that departed this morning from Rochester en route to Naples Airport. We're going to continue to gather more information and we'll have that for you coming up as uh, developments unfold. And, and Brett, this information just in, the Coast Guard has confirmed that there were three people on board. So uh, at this point, we have confirmed that Larry Glazer was one of those three. We'll continue to monitor this story. Brett, thank you very much. Uh, stay with WHEC.com and Houston NBC for the latest on any new developments.